What's up, everyone? Ultimate Gamer here, back with some more Horizon Zero Dawn. Alright, so now I'm decently close to it, so that way we don't have to sit there and just watch me run for an extra anyway, 30 seconds. What's up? So, it's time. Are you ready? Yeah, hell yeah. Yes, I'm ready. Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. I've never been so close before. Probably beating drums and stuff. I, don't I know. guess everything's bigger up close. I don't really hear nothing. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? This dude's beard is just like, wow. Like, do you? Is a man like considered strong because that long ass beard? Those How old are you? Celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Hide. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs, a center of Nora life, a jewel of the sacred land. I get it, Spare man. Time, and you'll grow fond of it, as I was, back when I was at the tribe. Mm. Are you sure they're going to let me in? <laughs> I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Pruley. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Roft. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. Any final lessons before I head in? No. You learned every lesson the wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the wilds. I just want to know about the Pruley. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. I know right, myself. Do this shit. See you back home in a few days. You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Wait, what? What are you talking about, dude? Take this. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? It's fucked up. No. We should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. I say it was from trying to, you know, for your sake, figure out about my mother. If I win the room, like me and Ross are no longer outcast. This anything I want. This is goodbye. But yeah, that's a problem. No, it's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. And every time, I'll be with you when I find you. You're like a father to her. Like, I'm just gonna go like that. Like that. You, and you. After that, I'll see where his trail is headed. Let me in, bitches. You will turn back, outcast. Fuck you. What the hell you think you is? Your choice. Make way. Make way. Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, Monk's Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you will know her because you were a little now. kid. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. 
pleasure. But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. I'm no, two people later. I can think of that being. That right, guy just traded for that, uh. Tripwire caster? Or. The guy that saved. Really good. Interesting. Uh, for sure, yeah. It's you, isn't it? Ah, it's the dude Aloy, I saved. I'm remembering your name correctly. Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. Yeah, you wouldn't know. Well, you, I see you don't could recognize, recognize him. him. Well, it was a long time ago. But yeah, Teb is my Teresa, or whatever you want to recognize. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider it the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. sample box. So yeah, I like that one though. That looks pretty cool. So what is this the one he's giving me? This is another uh, price. Effect. I don't know what the effect that means. I mean, that doesn't even have any effects. Yeah. Seems to fit you perfectly. Oh, thank you, Tep. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. I don't know. I didn't Every see no freaking stats on offers it. offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, <sighs> I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes flying, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. Oh, God. Horses. You ready to duck? I just threw a rock. I can already feel the headache. Yarg, get down from there. Bad enough you're drunk. Listen Why do you have to go climbing now. houses? Well, you'll have to oh, tell us when not you're supposed to go climbing on other people's roofs, huh? Oh, it's a fly crate. Aloy, over here. What the hell are you being so quiet for? Oh god, what's Come on over it. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's Heart, I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. Oh. I won't hold it against you, if you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. All sales are final. If it breaks, you're out of luck. Damn, that just sounds shady right there. Sure. 
shock trap. I don't see where I have my trip cache written. Tie rope light pack. What the heck did I buy? Why is this one only 20? Make my own fucking fire arrow. Alright, I think I, I think I know. Next time you'll be a brave. In a it's moment just... we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to wait. Jezza. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. It still looks shaky, though. I'm just saying, I don't know about all this peace stuff. An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers Arms. and slavers! Hey, hey, Luminance hold Luminance. your fruit, nor... Oh. Nora Faithful, hold your fruit. Now I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. Who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah. Yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Thank you. <clears throat> An enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of Sun King Avan. Fourteenth luminance of the radiant line. What the hell? Why that do freaking the Nora? On the I'm eve of your today. proving, he's wearing a focus. No, just like mine. No one was with you. Me. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Yeah, Her why best you got one of those? Who says I'm like other Nora? Oh, yeah. I guess you're not. Maybe you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. Ah. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> I don't like the... Hey. The guy comes over and he leaves. the same trophies that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half... Drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense. It looks great on you. What else do you know about Olin? Are you really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills we want the man guiding your expedition to have. 
I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. Okay. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. And Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Wraiths. And who can blame them? I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. Light takers and machine breakers to a one. You might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard yeah. to say. Yeah, I think that's all too. Looks like a pretty even match. I should make my way to the blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable and well, I mean, look at you. It's him. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what? All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. I thought you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Ha! Captured, yes. Killed, no. That takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's captain of the entire Vanguard. That's quite a story. Well, maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? Oh, God. So, time to go to this blessing thing. So, I just wonder what the hell the proven is about. Like, is it about fruit, like, fighting machines, or am I fighting people? are in place. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. Hey, your hair's in the way. I made it for you. Blasphemy, sisters. Man, you guys are some bitches. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. In honor of Ross, and all he did to help protect her. Oh, Mother, hear our prayer! What is a child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. This is going to go on forever. There's Owen. I have some questions for him. Perfect. Hello, Owen. Hey, what's up? You know my name. Ah, uh, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn it. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the clay. That's our name for the Asarum homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've dealt yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. 
When we spoke earlier, you winced. Yeah, and looked like you were in pain. That focus. I'm frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. You're not a very convincing liar. Do you always accuse people you've just met of lying? Only the ones who aren't telling the truth. Fire and spit, girl. I'm a plain hammered man with nothing to hide. If you don't believe me, that's your trouble, not mine. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> you remember that raid back to Mountain Camp that we did around the So I'm going to go ahead and end it for this part though. But I want to thank y'all for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe. Then I'm going to upload the next part.